Vocabulary. Education. 1. Read the clues and complete the crossword. 1. Make. 2. Performance. 3. Mistakes. 4. Test. 5. Languages. 6. Uniform. 7. Piano. 8. Sport. 9. Parley. 10. Online. 11. Take. Across. One one of the best things about going to university is that you make a lot of new friends. 4. On Friday, we have to do a test so I need to learn the vocabulary. 7. I'd love to play the piano, but our flat is too small to have one, so I play the guitar instead. 8. At my school we play a lot of sport. It keeps us fit. 10. I don't study online very often because I don't have internet access at home. 11. I have to take an exam at the end of the year. Down. 1. I don't like speaking French because I make a lot of make. 2. At the end of the year all the students give a performance. 3. When you mistake art, you learn about painters like Picasso and Salvador Dali. 5. I'd like to study foreign languages like Russian and Spanish. 6. At school we didn't have to wear a uniform. We wore our own clothes. 9. Every week we parley games like tennis or netball. Grammar. Can, have to, must. Read the advertisements and complete the conversations with. Can, can't, have to or don't have to. Learn to play music, beginners, class. Always wanted to play the drums. Or the guitar. Want to try the piano. Come and join us for fun music lessons. Try any instrument you want. And we'll help you lean to play. No previous experience necessary. We supply the instruments, so you don't need to bring your own. Children and adults welcome. Conversation 1. Susan. Hi. I'd like to come to the beginner's music class. Do I have to be able to play an instrument? Teacher, no, you don't have to play an instrument. You can choose your instrument here, and we'll help you to learn. Susan, can I come to a lesson first to see if I like it? Teacher, well, I'm afraid you can't come to the lessons unless you sign up for the whole course. Susan, okay. Can I bring children? Teacher, yes, you can. Children love it. Susan, do I have to bring my own instrument? Teacher, no, we have instruments here you can use. Join our Arabic language and culture course. Full price, £180. Reduced rates for students, £130. Just come along to the first class. No need to register first, just bring an enrollment form with you. Pay after the class if you wish to enroll. Conversation 2. Student. I'm a student. How much do I have to pay? Secretary. It's a reduced rate, so you only have to pay £130. Student. Do I have to register first? Secretary. No. You don't have to to register. You can come along to the first class. If you like the class, you can't complete the form at the end of the lesson. Student. Can I pay by check? Secretary. Yes, you can pay by card or check on the night. Unit 4. Great Minds. Recording 1. 1. How much do I have to pay? 2. 
Can I park here? Three. We must visit her before we leave. Four. We don't have to stay in this hotel. Five. She can't wear that. Six. You mustn't tell anyone. Four. A. Rewrite the sentences. Replace the underlined words with phrases with can, can't. 1. You are not allowed to have your mobile phone switched on. You can't have your mobile phone switched on. 2. You have to register before it's possible to use the site. You have to register before you can use the site. 3. I'm afraid it isn't possible for her to speak to you at the moment. I'm afraid she can't speak to you at the moment. 4. It's okay to use my computer if you want to. You can use my computer if you want to. Rewrite the sentences. Replace the underlined words with phrases with have to, don't have to or must, mustn't. There may be more than one possible answer. 1. It's necessary to be good at foreign languages if you want to learn Mandarin. You have to, must be good at foreign languages if you want to learn Mandarin. 2. It's important to be there on time or they won't let us in. We have to, must be there on time or they won't let us in. 3. It isn't necessary for us to have a license to fish here. We don't have to have a license to fish here. 4. It's important that you don't tell him I'm here. You mustn't tell him I'm here. 5. Look at the exam rules and complete the conversation. With can, can't, have to, don't have to, or must, mustn't. There may be more than one possible answer. Exam rules. Mobile phones X. Talk to other students X. Arrive on time. Eat, drink in the examination room X, but water OK. Have a dictionary V. Teacher. Are there any questions? Dan. Yes can we bring our mobile phones into the room? Teacher. No, you can't. You must have to turn them off and leave them outside in your bag. Julie, is it okay to eat during the exam? Teacher, no. You can have a bottle of water, but you can't, mustn't have anything else to eat or drink. Marco, do we have to leave our dictionaries in our bags? Teacher, no, you can bring dictionaries into the examination. Dan, what happens if we arrive late? Teacher, you must have to arrive on time or you can't come into the examination room. Julie, can we talk to other students? Teacher, no. You can't, mustn't talk at all during the examination. Now, does everybody understand? Is everything clear? Unit 4. Recording 2. Professor Morris, we're looking at learning and the different ways in which people like to learn and one of the things we can look at is the type of learner. Is that right? Yes. Research has shown that there may be many different types of learner. Mm. But one way we can look at this is to divide people into two groups, holists and serialists. Now. Most people will probably use both approaches, but often we find people are quite strongly one or the other. Holists and serialists. So, what's the difference between the two? Well, students who are serialists like to study taking one step at a time. They look at a subject or topic and work through the different parts of the topic in order. And holistic learners, how are they different? 
the holists are very different. They like to have a general understanding of the whole topic, and they find it easier to study and learn if they have an idea of the big picture. They don't worry so much about the detail. Oh, that's me. I think I'm more of a holist. <laughs> Are you? Well, you see, that's quite unusual. Unit 4. Recording 3. So, tell me a little bit more about the serialist. You said that they like to learn things in sequence, in order. That's right. So, they start at the beginning, and when they feel they've fully understood one part, then they're ready to move on to the next part. But it's very important to them that they understand the detail. OK. These are the kind of people who always read the instructions before they try a new piece of equipment or machinery. That's right. And what about the holistic learners? OK. Well, a holist never starts learning about a topic at the beginning. They jump around and get lots of information. So, they might pick up a book about the topic and choose a chapter in the middle and start reading there. Mm, that's like me. I choose the bit I'm most interested in. Exactly. But a serialist learner will start at the beginning and read each chapter in order. That's very interesting. What about writing? Is there a difference there, too? Yes, absolutely. A serialist will make a careful plan of everything they have to write and then begin to research each area. But a holist will read about a lot of different things and have lots of bits of paper with notes. <laughs> then they will try to put the different pieces together when they begin writing. That's very true. There is paper everywhere. I think my tutors at university would like me to be more serialist. <laughs> uh, yes, that's probably true. Four point three. Listen to the second part of the interview. Are the sentences about serialists S or holists H? One. This learner likes to understand detail. Serialists. 2. This learner reads instructions before using a new piece of equipment. Serialists. 3. This learner might read a chapter from the middle of a book first. Holists. 4. This learner makes a careful plan before writing. Serialists. 5. This learner reads around the topic and makes lots of notes before writing. Holists. Circle the correct option to complete the statements. 1. Students. B. Often use both serialist and holist approaches. 2. Serialists like to learn things. A. In the correct order. 3. A holist likes to have an idea of the big picture and A. doesn't worry about detail. <laughs>